Hey guys, it's Full Cards here, live and direct from Brooklyn, New York. And today, I just opened up another one of these boxes of the 1996 SPX from Upper Deck. It's a hockey hobby box um, from 95-96, and it basically has these foil die cuts inside. And to save some labor, um, I basically opened up the entire box. Uh, there are 36 packs per box. Each card is individually wrapped, so that was very, that was a lot of unwrapping. Um, but if you look at the back of the box, you basically see that there's a base set of running 1 to 50 cards. So if you have 36 packs, you come close to completing your base set. There are also gold versions 1 of 7 and hollow view heroes, which are 1 per box essentially. Great futures are basically 1 per 2 boxes and the Wayne Gretzky tributes are 1 every 3 boxes more or less. And the Wayne Gretzky tribute autograph cards are super rare at 1 per 1,297 packs. If you do land that, you've essentially landed a $300 card. Um, and you'll note that this the, the type of card within this particular box was later duplicated as a retro version, I think around 2013-14, which they do on occasion. Um, so what is there to know? Someone's playing soul music outside. Can you hear that? Which is not uncommon in Brooklyn. Um, but uh, the rookies from this year were Patrick Aleem, Patrick Marlowe, Joe Thornton, Marty B. Rong, JSG Gare, Daniel Briere, and perhaps a couple of other ones. So those are worth looking out for. I, I might have gotten one or two. I'm not entirely sure. I don't think they look different than the other cards. So what did I get of these uh, in this particular box? I'll tell you what I got. So everything was individually wrapped, each card individually wrapped. They're really beautiful gold wrappers. The box itself is a really nice looking little black box. Um, and so I collected a lot of the base, but the base are holograms. So you see there's Joe Neuendijk. Uh, I can go through them fairly quick, quickly. There's, there's Richter and so on. Um, I did get a um, Matt Sundin, there's Leach, Iserman, uh, Forsberg, I did get a Mario, uh, I got a Ray Bork, I believe I got a Cam Neely, so let's just see all the ones that I got. I did get a Brett Hull, Chelios, Fleury, Eric Daze, um, is, I'm wondering if Eric Daze was a rookie, I'm not sure, uh, Jager, Fedorov, Shani, Messier, Bure, Patrick Bois, I got the Patrick Bois card, I got a Koivu, and I got a Peter Bondra, and I got a Pat Lafontaine. So these are the, the and they're all very, very sort of holographic, um, which is really, really nice look. You can probably see the reflection of my iPad in the background. Um, so I, I got a, a great bunch of cards that you, we would, um, and I even got the Wayne Gretzky base card too, and you see how beautiful it is. He's got a St. Louis Blues jersey on the background. Of course, he played with the Blues only for a hot second. Essentially, he's known as an oiler and a king, and he ended his career, of course, with the New York Rangers. So that is essentially what I got in terms of base cards. I did get a, a couple of hits, fortunately. I'll go through them very, very quickly. My first hit, a, a big hit, was the uh, Hall of View, and it and happened to be a Ray Bork, which is really nice to get this Hall of Famer. Um, and Stanley Cup winner, of course, with the Avalanche with Patrick as his goalie behind him. Um, so these Hall of Views are 1 in 24, so you were guaranteed to get one, maybe two per box. Um, and then secondly, I did hit the Great Futures of Wayne Gretzky, which is one of 75. I had hit that before. As I said, these come every second box, so I was lucky to have hit it. Uh, you see Wayne Gretzky in the background. And you can also see in the holograph look, you can see there Saku Koivu giving a nice big smile. And it really works very well. You have Saku Koivu, you got Alfredson, uh, you have Yemsh, Yem, Yeshmenev, Yashmenev, and you have Argdeze. Um, and then finally, last but not least, I hit the, not the autograph, but I did hit the Wayne Gretzky tribute card. Um, so that was pretty, really happy to hit this because I'd never hit it before, I'd never seen it before. And it is this sort of powder blue uh, Wayne Gretzky, him in his heyday with the Oilers. And the, these Wayne Gretzky tributes are one of 95, so they're actually only one of every three in every three boxes. So it's actually easy not to hit it, uh, but I did hit it. Um, there Apparently there is an auto one, so I'd assume the auto one would have his auto on here. I don't know whether it's a sticker auto or not. I'd have to look it up. You can, you can go to eBay to check it out. 
but the uh, Wayne Gretzky Tribute Auto card is one out of 1,297 packs, so it's really, really hard to hit. But this being one of 95 is also equally hard to hit, and it's probably sort of maybe worth 10 bucks. I'm not sure. You might be able to get it for less than that. That's just a guess. Uh, so I, I do. I did get three hits. I did get the two Wayne Gretzky's, and I got this nice Roy, uh, Ray Bork. Um, and, and that's essentially it. Then with regard to the one last thing that I didn't mention is I did get the one of seven. Um, these are the parallels, the gold parallels. They're not really any different from the normal base cards. The difference is that they're sort of a yellow beige look. Uh, it looks beige because it's dark. Um, the light's fading fast here in Brooklyn, but uh, they, they actually look beige in reality in person. They're sort of supposed to be gold, but they look just as beige. So I got a, I got a Paul Coffey, I got a Felix Podvent, I got a Cam Neely, I got a Daniel Alfredson, and I got a Tar Todd Bertuzzi. Um, so these are essentially just parallels of uh, base cards. As I said, the base cards run through 50, and you see that I just uh, got these gold parallels of those base cards. Um, so probably with two purchases, a box, buying two boxes, you can more or less, if you're lucky, complete the base set is my best guess. And you can go fishing for the Wayne Gretzky, um, not only Great Futures, but also the, the Tribute Card and the Tribute Card Auto. So that is what the um, SPX 1996 Hobby Box uh, gets you. It's a nice, it's a very, very nice uh, look. It's a uh, holograph, uh, if you like. And it's, um, you know, it's it, they're die cuts and they're very substantial looking cards. They're what I would term now a, a solid mid-end card in, in today's parlance. Uh, for which you can probably buy the box online for about 40 bucks and fish for the Wayne Gretzky Auto Tribute um, if you're lucky. So that's it. If you have any questions, just let me know. Um, I'm Fulton Cards Live and Direct from Brooklyn, New York.